pineapple for dinner. Just go with me on this. You like Hawaiian pizza, like the ham and pineapple on pizza because it's that salty and sweet. We're gonna do Hawaiian chicken. And this is my play on it, so if you don't like it, don't do this recipe. But if you do do it, and you do like it, I want you to tag us, put a picture, just send it to me in the DM. I, it makes me like thrilled when you guys try our recipes. Chicken thighs, marinating in Dijon mustard, fresh lemon juice, garlic, adobo, salt and pepper. Scallions, onion and garlic. Um, salsa verde that I had, which is gonna add the acidity to this. Pineapple and bacon. Bacon, people, bacon. Okay, maybe I was a little too excited for the bacon. But if you don't wanna use bacon, you can definitely use ham. Um, those are the only two. I wouldn't do a chorizo or something like that for this recipe at all. The goal is salty, a little acidity from the salsa verde, sweet. We're gonna try this up really nice. And we're gonna make this like salsa and we're gonna pan sear our chicken thighs, both sides and a little bit of butter. We're gonna put it in a dish. We're gonna top the sauce, a little Parmesan, a little breadcrumb, and we're gonna pop it in the oven. So it's like a casserole. We're gonna call it Hawaiian chicken. I like the idea, so we're gonna do it. Let's go. Pineapple. A lot of people say, how do you know if it's good? How do you tell what's fruit? Well, cantaloupe, you wanna go with like the wheat and you wanna like tap it. Pineapple is the bottom. See how nice and yellow it is? I bought it, it was not this nice and yellow. I left it out. Do not put your pineapple like this in the refrigerator, it will never ripen. To get the top off, take two hands and hold it down. Just pop this off, see that? Now, if you're in the catering business or you're throwing a party, don't throw this out. Cut it, put it in the middle of a platter for fruit. You know, you could do it like the little banquet centers used to do, use that, but we're gonna discard it. I'm gonna show you how to clean the pineapple now so that you get the best yield out of each piece of fruit that you have. A lot of people do not know how to clean pineapple. You can use this method on pineapples, cantaloupe, honeydew, whatever. I'm gonna teach you how to clean the pineapple. Put it down the side, cut the top off, turn it around, cut the bottom off. You want a flat surface to work. Do not work with anything that's rolling around because that's gonna happen and we're gonna have a problem. You're gonna take your knife, you're gonna guide it down the side of the pineapple all the way. See that? Got yourself another line. Same method, gonna guide. Guide it around, slowly turning as you go. You're not gonna, might not get it the first time. It's okay. You're gonna take your time. Do it again. Do you see how thin my strips are? There's not a lot of pineapple on there because I'm leaving the pineapple on here. Look at that! Woo! Pineapple! Discard this. I'm not throwing it on my floor, people. I have a garbage right there. Um, I have a bowl, so when I put my uh, chopped pineapple. So, cut your pineapple straight down the middle. Now, there's a pit. I cut my pineapple on an angle and I put it here. So all I'm taking out is that pit. Well, it's on a pit, more the core. You can eat the core. I don't like the core, it's very fibrous. Um, some people like the core. So once again, turning. I got my knife half stuck in the core. There we go. Taking the core out. Now I have four pieces of pineapple. I am gonna cut it like this and then in half, so we can do a nice, gotta cook, cut it a little bigger than you actually want it because when it cooks, it's gonna cook down. Mm. Perfection. So we cut that pineapple. Now we're gonna cut an onion and some garlic and some scallions. Um, we're gonna do the sauce first because then we're gonna sear the chicken um, in a separate pan. I'm gonna let the sauce go because it needs to cook down. Let me, let me reword that one for you. The reason we're doing the sauce first is because I need it to cook down and I can sear the chicken in a different pan while that's cooking down. So we got our onions here. I'm gonna do some garlic. I'll use that bowl again. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this might come out good. I mean, it's funny to say that because you're like, well, Lauren, why would you make dinner if you don't think it's gonna come out good? Because sometimes it's trial and error. Sometimes it is trying out a new recipe. Well, I don't even call it a recipe. I don't know anyone else who's done it this method, so 
It's my Hawaiian chicken. Chef Govis's Hawaiian chicken. You have your pan on? I have my pan on. Put a little oil in it. And we're gonna get nice and hot. You know it's hot, obviously, when the water, the water, the oil shimmers nice and smooth. Um, bacon. So I said, you could use ham, you will get a ham steak and dice that up if you'd like. Um, if not, I mean, nothing is better than bacon in my opinion. So that's what I feel is gonna be the best component here to get that salty meat flavor. So putting in, that is a half a pack of bacon. Just move it around, it's gonna start to sizzle. A half a pack of bacon uh, diced. And I just put a little oil in the pan just to get this going. And this is gonna start to render down. As soon as it's rendering down, we'll build our sauce. I have my onions and garlic um, that I'm gonna add in after. I have my pineapple, which just so you can see, nicely diced. We're ready to rock and roll. Got our bacon, high heat. We're gonna constantly keep moving it. See how it starts to fold up on the edges? That's because the fat's starting to cook out of it. And that's what we want. We want the fat in the pan because that's gonna help build our sauce. And crispy rendered bacon is the best. Now, if you want to garnish with some crispy bacon after you get it all cooked down, take some out, keep it on the side. You can garnish your dish with it, which I think I might do. Um, and you can just rest it on a paper towel and that would work. I want to show you what crispy bacon looks like. Woo, popping. Okay, what's popping? We're going to add in garlic and onions next. Use a spoon. Get them all coated in that fat. And get this cooking down now. Keep it moving. This will cook fast because that bacon fat is super hot right now. Our bacon, onion, garlic all cooked down. Now we're going to add our pineapple. Now, that sugar that's in the pineapple is going to get released once it starts to cook. And we did a bigger dice because um, when you cook it down, it's going to start to shrink. It's going to lose its size, um, but we're going to coat this. The smell. And this pineapple was really ripe, so it's like perfect for this recipe. I'm really excited, guys. Like, really excited. Um, so, going to get this cooking down first, then we'll add our salsa verde and our greens before we push it to the side and start searing our chicken. This is so colorful, too, with the green and the yellow. So I'm not adding salt been cooked in bacon and there's a lot of salt and bacon we're still gonna see our chicken so now I'm gonna put this on the side on low behind you I'm gonna get my cast iron so we can start searing the chicken at the end after I'm done searing the chicken I'm gonna hit the pan with a little bit of white wine to deglaze it I'm gonna put those juices into the sauce before we drain it up in the casserole dish to go in the oven lots of little steps to make a big difference at the end result here especially when you're going with the flavor that you want. You want to not miss out on those um, seared chicken thighs. I would if this was a smaller batch, I'd done it maybe in one pan, seared the chicken, and then built the sauce. But I really want this to reduce down and become syrupy, be from the sugar of the pineapple, like a thick, reduced sauce. Cast iron. Oh, whoa, bag's falling over. Putting a little bit of oil. We marinated, of course, in our Ziploc. So, we have a nice hot cast iron. We open up our Ziploc, use your tongs. I have the sheet pan ready to go, because it's all in the prep. And my cast iron, my oil is just starting to shear. Yeah, there you go. Um, there's nothing better, in my opinion, to sear meat than a cast iron. I have a bunch of different sizes, but this is like my favorite one that I can do demos and cooking stuff with. So, the chicken thighs, they're boneless, skinless. I clean them up before I put in here. But we're going to do around three minutes on each side. And then once we're done, we just throw that bag away. Ooh, that sizzle. That beautiful, beautiful sizzle. Don't overcrowd your pan. You don't want them to boil. You want them to sear. So, don't overcrowd your pan. So much going on here. We got our chicken on, which they're not ready yet. Just gotta give it another two minutes on the side. I got some water from cooking some string beans. And then we got our pineapples that are going slow in the back here. So much going on. I do wanna show you, I look at our pineapple, how it cooked down. And you can see how some of the pieces like kind of even turned brown and caramelized, but it's nice and thick. 
Oh, it's beautiful. I mean, it smells outrageous, outrageous. And then here, what we have going is I finished sharing our chicken, and this is a little bit of butter in the pan, and you're gonna hit it with a little bit of wine. And all those tidbits are gonna come right out. It's gonna scrape. Now we're gonna add this liquid right into our pineapple. Okay, so our chicken thighs, we pan seared them. You can see how nice color we got on them. Now our pineapple, I wanna call it like a combo. It's like cooked down. We are going to layer it, see this? Right on top of this chicken. Remember the bacon, all those herbs. Oh my God, this looks so good. And because we're gonna make it like casserole style, it needs a little cheese on top. So I'm doing Parmesan. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil. In the oven, 400, just so that cheese melts. A little black pepper. And when it comes out, we'll garnish it with some fresh herbs. But check this out. Go in the oven. Yeah. Here our chicken thighs, our Hawaiian chicken with the pineapple and bacon chutney kind of on top chicken thighs. I'm just, just serving it with some um, string beans, but yeah. You see how it cooked down and like caramelized? And now you got the balance of the salty and the sweet. I am so excited for this.